This is my 45th National Park. I got here bright and early to do the Alkali Flat Trail. And we're at the Dunes Visitor Center. There's our rental car, Gladiator Jeep. And it's about 9 o'clock and it's 70 some degrees, October 5th. And I'm so excited. Number 45. Amy's here with me. Here's a park trail map, and we're gonna do this trail up here, Alkali Flat Trail, this morning. And tonight we're gonna do the Sunset Stroll. And the visitor center is pretty busy at 9 a.m. So here it says to bring a gallon of water a day um, and wear long pants and long shirt because of the reflection of the sand and we're getting ready to head out. Here comes Amy. spending about 20 minutes layering on a ton of sunscreen 
because we're white people from Maine <laughs> who don't get any sun. And we're going to get sun from the sky and from the reflection of the ground. Um, so we're being careful. Here is a start from the Alkali Flat Trail. Lot of water um, keep keep the trail markers in sight and look at Amy look at how prepared she is she looks <laughs> just like me look at that we're all covered up all right here we go Stay alive and drink water. The first part is super packed, which is nice, it's like a road. And then we start on the dunes. Here's the first trail marker. And then there's another one over by those people. We'll just keep them both in sight. There's where we started, and now we're just in the massive white dune field. We can see kind of where we're heading, right? You can see all those orange markers way in the distance. I can see how you could easily get lost in the troughs of the dunes. It's beautiful here. So the hiking is just a series of up and down, and this is a pretty good up, up the dunes, down the dunes, a little bird track, oh yeah, little bird tracks here, all around, this. probably around this little bush, trying to get some shade. This is the first vegetation we've seen so far. Makes you wonder if there's like a little spring or something there. <laughs> there's where we came from. And where we're going. These are just so cool, these waves in the dunes. Amy's going up that steep, steep-sided dune there, and I decided to just walk around a little bit, so I don't have to do the steep part. A little longer, but not as hard. Easier on the Achilles.
so beautiful out here. I think everyone started earlier than us. We started at, I think I said 9.30, and it, everyone has been passing us on the way out. Um, so they got an earlier start than us. But the temperature's still good. Um, and we're loving it. So we were trying to decide what these little tracks were on the flat part of the sand and it's hard to discern, but then you can see uh, down this hill that it's definitely a snake because you can, you can make out the scoots on the bottom of the snake that probably, I don't know if it was climbing up or down, probably down because mm -hmm. it's straight so versus, down. yeah. But we haven't seen an actual snake. They're probably only out at night. Yeah. They'd Generally. Be fried if they were out here during the day. It's getting hotter. Not too hot yet though. Nope. It looks like we're getting close to the halfway point, two and a half miles where this vegetated area was the lake um, when the glaciers scraped over those mountains, scraped the gypsum off of the bedrock. Um, the gypsum was deposited by an ancient ocean and then it came to lay here and got filled up with water, this ancient lake. Um, and then the lake water evaporated and left more gypsum. And I think this lake, our old lake, is where the turnaround is. Still a little more moisture in it because you can see some vegetation where behind us there's no vegetation. So we made it to the halfway point on the Alkali Flat Trail to this ancient lake bed. And you know you're at the halfway point when you reach this sign. Caution, area closed beyond this point. Stay on Alkali Flat. Unexploded munitions, keep out. That's a good way to keep people out of here. So this um, is adjacent to the um, White Sands missile testing area. And so, there's probably a bunch of unexploded missiles out there. And so here, the um, markers start to loop around. This is a loop trail. So at the midway point, you kind of loop to the right. And well, it didn't take us maybe like an hour and a half to get out here. And we left at 10? 9.45. 9.45. So an hour and a half? Mm -hmm. Yep, to the halfway point. This hill would be excellent sandboarding, except for the hard looking bottom. <laughs> you can almost see the markers straight back from here.
lots of people do lots of different things. We look like we do. And he looks like he does. Here is a good example of the ups and downs of the dunes. That guy over there is on the up, then the down, then the up, then the down. And keeps going. But it's not actually that bad. No. No. It's up and down, but it's not like high elevation. It's just like a little bit up and down. We're on the last stretch. I see that RV over there parked at the trailhead. So we don't have much farther to go. And it's a good thing because it's pretty darn hot now. Yeah. What do you think of this trail, Amy? It's good. I'm, I think we did a good job, but definitely I wouldn't want to do it if it was any hotter for any longer during the day. Definitely start out early. I think we did fine with our timing, but yeah. definitely Don't early. start any later than 9.45. No. <laughs> At least in October. Yeah. Well, we made it in two hours and 40 minutes, which is less than the three hours that they say it takes. And that never happens for us because we're a little slow. Um, but it was a nice hike. <laughs> There's our red rental car. I think we're going to go to the visitor center and enjoy the AC. Um, Definitely a must do at White Sands. Enjoy. Oh.